trying to get your head and my head in the same frame is not easy. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand, I'll stand way back here. And that way we look the same height. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just getting to work here and I'm really excited because I'm gonna head back to the K1500, get that, and we're gonna go do the first mod. So when I bought this truck, uh, the very first thing I did was I text this person who's gonna do the mod and say, hey, listen, I need to do this. I just bought a truck, what do you think? And he was like, absolutely get the truck over here let's get this done so i'm ready to do my first mod right there is the truck i'm storing the truck uh, up on our back lot i've been up here before it's kind of where we have actually it looks like we have a lot of service vehicles up here but you can see over here a lot of silver autos all sorts of silver autos over there and they give you a little bit of context right up there the big american flag that i absolutely love at our dealership is over there so i'm gonna get this truck i'm gonna get it pulled up front we're gonna go do the mod and most importantly you know this channel is all about learning this channel is all about teaching you things that i have probably take for granted over the last 19 years in the car business and something that i can relay some messages to you and help you with your everyday car needs so we're going to show you the mod that we're doing we'll talk a little bit about his company and then most importantly we're going to have the learning phase of this video so make sure you watch the whole video there's a lot of good tips in here that i think you can use for your truck down the road don't forget if you come to the chevy store make sure you ask for me directly also the best way to get a hold of me is at chevydude.com where you can text me or set an appointment thank you so much for watching if this is the first time that you're watching the video make sure you hit the subscribe button turn the bell notifications on because i'll be doing more amazon gift cards to the people who have the notifications on and then most importantly use that amazon link every time you buy something on amazon that's in the description below and then we have the chevy dude merch buy some chevy dude merch support the channel and uh, i'd love to see you walking around this at the next time that i hold a fan event all right we're here and i'm just waiting on jordan yoner to get here and uh, i am at line x of the bluegrass now i've been doing business with line x for a long time and i've never been to their building they always come to my store and pick up the vehicles so we're gonna wait let jordan get here and we're going to put in a brand new bed liner in this truck i'm going to show you all sorts of cool things of what you need to know some learning things and why you need to choose line x for your bed liners all right so they are starting to prep the truck and uh, this is something that actually the factory doesn't do is prep the truck this way and uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more in here but i'm going to kind of give you an idea of what i'm going to do so if you look i've got a lot of chips on this truck i think one thing that will make this truck just a little bit nicer is we're going to actually spray over the rail on this truck so that way it covers up all these chips and i don't have to do a whole lot of paint work i am going to do some paint work on this on this and the cool thing about it is it's all custom so there's this little scratch right here so we're actually going to come just shy down just a shy past that so that way it covers up that scratch and there's really nothing else here so then when we look here, I've got this big scratch right here, and we're gonna cover up pretty much most of that. So the tape that he's putting on here is actually just not masking tape or painter's tape or anything like that. It's a braided tape. So this is one of their ways and techniques that they get that perfect line to come across, which we'll see later in the video. All right, so we're all prepped, getting ready to spray. So I think I mentioned this earlier. I've shot a lot of videos, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna edit in. But uh, they sit here and they rough up all of the paint in here. Now this is something the factory does not do. And the reason the factory does not do this is because they state because it's brand new paint and it has not cured yet that it'll stick. Well, based off some videos that I've seen online and uh, from other Linex dealers that I talk with, that's simply not true. So here's a video of a factory bed liner coming off a brand new truck that's not been roughed up as you can see.
So while they are spraying the truck, I was walking around their showroom and uh, I didn't realize Jordan, who you're gonna meet here in a little bit, I didn't realize he did all of this stuff. Here's the big one that I re didn't realize. I'm a huge BMW Hitch fan and he installs these here right uh, in Louisville, which is nice. And then I've mentioned this in the video uh, in the past that I may do some suspension upgrades and this airlift system. So I didn't realize that he did that. So that may be coming to the truck pretty soon. And pretty much anything with the truck, all sorts of steps. Think about putting steps on the truck. What do you guys think? Should I put steps on the truck? These are really cool nurse style steps. Got some lights. These lights are pretty cool. There we go. Nice light bars. Kind of showing those tires over there they got some rims wheels as you call it uh, i call them rims everybody's triggered when i call them rims but they're rims to me wheels to you tires there and of course all sorts of uh, bed covers and uh, roll-up covers and all that stuff so really cool stuff that jordan does here at line x of bluegrass so i was telling you about this tape earlier in the video watch this Nice and simple. All right, guys, I told you at the beginning of the video that this would be something that show you what I did to the truck, which I'm gonna show you here dead on up close what we did there uh, but also this is Jordan who owns Line X of the bluegrass here in Louisville Kentucky and I've been using Line X since the early 2000s and I've known Jordan for a long time and he's the only one who sprays bed liners for me at the dealership and I told Jordan earlier that uh, the reason I started using Line X is because they came to me in the early 2000s and really sold me on the idea of the technology back then and there are still a couple people here and there still spraying the way they did back in the early 2000s, but pretty much everybody has kind of came to this level. But you had an analogy earlier that was probably better than what I can explain, so you can explain it. Yeah, absolutely. So there's multiple options for bed liners today. The factory has an option. Uh, Line-X is obviously the number one option. And then there's a lot of people that are saying that they're just like Line-X. Well, it's kind of like toilet paper. Like there's multiple grades of toilet paper, there's single ply, there's Charmin, the whole gamut. All of it really will do the job, but how many people are willing to take the risk that one ply gives you? I mean, just, just go with the name brand. With Line-X, you know what you're getting. Uh, we've got consistency. We've been in business for over 25 years. Millions of bed liners on the road today, tried and true. Uh, we've got the, the accountability built into our system. So the reason that the Line-X quality has been above and beyond because I stand behind every single bed liner that leaves my door. So but, if but you also said earlier we were talking that you said that if if you were to go out of business, which you're not going to, but if you were going out of business, this company is not just one individual. You're not line ups, right? Correct. So so the, you can go anywhere in the country and and get a warranty claim. And not, not to mention if you move, you have a lifetime nationwide warranty as well. Exactly. If we were to do a bed liner for your son and he gets stationed out in California again if he were to still be in the service, he's still backed by warranty. But the reason that Linux quality was kind of above and beyond is each owner was responsible for their work. So I'm the one that would have to pay the guy in California. So it behooves me to do a killer job each and every time, assuming I wasn't a nice guy, which I am a nice guy. But there's that accountability built well, in the maybe, place. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so Linex offers two bed liners, right? Yeah, so we have two main black options. Uh, the standard Linex, which has been out for 25 years. Uh, and then we've got our premium Linex option, which has been on the market for about eight or nine years. Uh, both are black. The premium is going to be the better looking liner uh, for an extended period of time because it's aliphatic chemistry. So the paint on GM trucks is aliphatic. So it's going to have really good gloss retention, really good color retention. Uh, it's also much easier to clean. So an, an example I love telling people, let's say we have a rusted receiver hitch or rusted chains, we throw it in the bed of a standard liner or a factory liner and it gets rained on, that rust is probably gonna stain the liner. 
the premium liner, uh, Line-X, has a much better shot of it cleaning up uh, because the, the pores of the, the bed liner are much smaller. And then uh, if you are in the Louisville area or want to come to Louisville, make sure you check out Jordan. Now, Jordan has done something for anybody nationwide. Down below in the description are some links, so that way you can get, uh, I think we're going to give them the uh, how to take care of a bed liner. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. How to so take care of it and what else? We've got some bed liner maintenance tips, um, and we also have a bed liner's buyer's guide. So ultimately, I want to educate people on getting the right product. Um, even if I don't happen to be that guy, I want you to make an educated decision on that. So we've got some tips uh, for anyone that's in the bed liner market uh, nationwide. Which is why I use them, because it's not all about me or you. It's about how can we help people, right? And that's what this channel is all about. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Here is the K1500's bed liner. Now, I chose to do the premium bed liner. And the reason I chose this is because I think this truck is going to be sitting outside a lot. And I'm trying to find a garage area to house this truck in so I can keep it out of the elements. I just don't have that done. So I wanted to do a premium because of what Jordan was kind of talking about earlier. And that was because this doesn't fade. If you look at the manufacturer's beds, uh, one that just came in and one that may be six months old, you're going to see a color difference because they fade. There's a huge difference between Line X, Line X Premium, and what the manufacturer does all the way down to what I was showing you earlier of how they prep the surface and make sure this adheres to the truck for a very long time. Well, I'm gonna hop back in the truck, head back to the dealership and sell some cars. And I just wanna say this one last tidbit. I've been using Linex for 19 years. I've never had a negative experience with this company. You can't say that with too many people. I do a lot of business with these people and everything happens good and i've used a lot of line x dealers and i just referred somebody to a line x dealer up in michigan so uh, as always anything i can do for you reach out to me at chevydude.com and thank you so much for watching you guys have a great day and drive safely <laughs>